All right, now we've completed we've completed the HR service. So we are going to start building the pathology service. If you are joining right now, it's better you go to start from the beginning because this is step by step. If you miss out anything, also look at the web page. You have all the steps, you have all the codes there for you, and you can follow along. So remember, if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. Just subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I make new lessons. And also you motivate me to continue making these lessons. So let's go to build the pathology service. So again, we do it step by step. I'm going to mark this as green at this point. So we are building the pathology service. So I would like to close everything at this point. So just click close orders and then you close this one. And I'd like to stop everything running. So I'm going to just click here. I'm going to play my console and everything is white. So pathology service, step one. Let's look at the step one. It says create the pathology resource class in the resources in the resources. This is resources package. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we are in pathology service. So we are going to go to main Java and just say new and just choose class. Now we are going to call it pathology resource. Pathology resource. Okay. So we are going to put it in the resources in the resources package so just do dot resources it means you are creating a new package called resources and just say finish let me see in the resources package fine so we've done this the next step is annotate the class with address controller annotations so simply come here and say address controller annotation okay the next step says Annotate the class with a request mapping of a request mapping annotation of slash pathology. So another annotation there. So we say at request mapping. I already explained what this at request mapping means. So it means that in the hospital, if you want to go to a particular department, you simply use this pathology. You simply say slash pathology goes to pathology department slash HR goes to HR slash radiology, slash rooming, slash vehicles, slash ambulance, goes to different departments, and that is why we use this request mapping. All right, so let's see what we can do in the next step. Say, create a list of hard-coded diseases. Okay, hard-coded list of diseases. So I'm going to say a list of disease, diseases, so this is more like a list of diseases that this hospital treats. So let's just, uh, okay, let me complete this first before I explain. As equal to arrays dot as list, okay, so arrays dot as list. Okay, so sometimes arrays dot as list, okay, all right. <clears throat> Sometimes this uh, uh, so I didn't know the properties that this is normally have, but let's say it has an ID. So we have string, we have new disease, I have ID uh, ID D one. Maybe a disease also has a description, and it has treatment. Maybe treatment. So yeah, treatment, let's say treatment. So it has, a, a, this, okay, we're actually creating the actual disease. Let's, let's say asthma. So the treatment is warm water baths. Okay, that's a treatment for asthma. And another disease we have is D2. And this, the description is typhoid. And the treatment is uh, the treatment is uh, ampicillin. I don't know if that is a treatment. Ampicillin capsules. All right, all right. I'm going to put exclamation mark because I'm, I'm sure it's totally wrong. All right. So these for test purposes never go and try using this treatment for any disease. That's my disclaimer. Yeah, this is just for test purposes. So I'm going to now go to check where we are. 
create has got a list of diseases. I've done two, so I'm going to mark it as green. Create the disease class in the models package. So I'm going to come here, put the mouse here, and then say create disease class. And I'm going to, instead of using resources package here, I'm going to use models. Um, okay, I'm going to say finish. So I have disease as an ID description and treatment. So I'm going to just come here and say string I, uh, private string ID, private string ID, private string uh, description, private string three mains. Okay. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is to add getters and uh, constructors first before getters and setters. So generate constructor using field, and this is fine generate I like to remove this super because it kind of makes everything confusing so I'm going to also add an empty constructor so simply say public if you don't add an empty constructor in microservices you have an error at some point so always add an empty constructor so we also add generate getters and setters so just go to source and go to generate getters and setters here and choose everything to select everything and just say generate mm -hmm. all right so we have our getters and sizes generated and we are done with the diseases the disease class so i'm going to mark it as green right here we are actually making so much progress so we can actually uh be proud of ourselves the nice thing is the, the create the this get diseases method to return list of diseases so that will be done in the uh, pathology uh, resources. Pathology resource. So why do we have this error? Okay. So I'm going to create. Uh, all right. So I'm going to create a new method. So I'm going to say uh, probably. Um, list of disease get diseases so if this method returns list of all the diseases out there so i'm going to just say return diseases because we already created a hard coded list so let's see where are we in the stream of time we are in f so we are now going to annotate the get diseases method with request mapping of slash diseases so i'm going to come here and then use Add request mapping uh, of slash diseases. Okay, and the next thing is to annotate create create the get disease by ID method uh, to return a single disease. So that is the next method we are going to create. So I'm going to say uh, public public. Uh, disease going to return a single disease get disease by ID of course it's going to take the it's going to take ID of the disease we are trying to return all right so we are now going to search through this and find a single disease so I'm going to create disease D is equal to diseases dot stream uh -huh. dot filter and we are filtering for disease such that the id that is passed in is equal to is equal to the, the id that we are searching for Right, so and then we are going to find any find any what if we don't find anything? Oh what is this? So if we don't find anything we are just going to return no so if you, if we don't find anything just return no. Alright, 
So where we are in the stream of time, we have the disease by ID method, we're done with a single disease, we are done with this. Annotate the gather disease by ID with request marking of slash diseases, slash diseases, slash ID. So let's just do that. I'm going to say a uh, request mapping of slash uh, diseases slash ID. ID because in calling braces because it's going to be a parameter it's going to be changing from time to time depending on what the user wants to search for. So I'm going to check where we are in the stream of time. I'm going to annotate the ID with active as part variable annotation. So this ID here, I'm going to notate it, annotate it with add path variable. Now that path variable we need is the ID. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to now press Control Shift O to import all the necessary uh, namespaces. So I'm going to Control Shift O and everything goes. Why do we have an error here? So I'm going to just return this, return D, all right, good. All right, so we are done with this. So I'm now going to test this application. So let's test it. So to test it simply, I'm going to run the pathology service. So I'm going to come here, run us. I expect it to run in port 8083. Let's just check and make sure everything is fine. So 8083 in applications, the properties file, and I'm going to go to pathology service and I'm going to just say run as, run as spring boot up. So if everything goes well, we are going to get a list of diseases. We're also going to search for a single disease and hopefully we are going to get it. So it says Tomcat started at port 8083. And I'm going to now go to my browser and I'm going to go to pathology. And I'm going to say diseases. Oh, okay, so here we have the port. We need to change the port to, A's, uh, sorry, to A083, A083. Good, so it, have, it has this list of diseases. Let's search for a single disease, slash D1. And it's finding it. So at this point, we've completed building the three applications. So if you start this three application, you find out that three of them are working perfectly in different ports. All right, so let's see the next thing we are going to do. We've tested it and it works fine. So the next thing we are going to do is we call the HR service from the admissions admission service. So what we are trying to do is inside the admission service, we are trying to now return, uh, call the HR service to get some data. I'm going to stop here for now. Um, or maybe I'm going to, let's, let's just take a, a little break and then we continue with uh, now using REST template to hook them all together and actually build a microservice. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed and also uh, leave me a comment to see, to let me know if this has been informative for you.